Hello everyone, it's Games from Work Back to the channel, and today's video is doing more heavy storm shadow, We're playing storm call of the day with the sniper rifle, which has full capacity, does 100 to 125 damage, and it also penetrates all enemies with friend range, so that should be interesting. Alright, the agile ships I'm using right now is glass cannon and bone fuel. I don't know if I'll need bone fuel, but if it penetrates all the way through, then we don't really need it, but I'm gonna go ahead and use it anyway, just to be safe. And then I do have all the upgrades already, which I showed in the last video. We're doing the fall through after casting a skill, the damage of the brain weapon is plus 40% for 3 seconds. Okay, we're gonna do the tons level on endless. Let's get it, shall we? Okay, here we go. I will say using the sniper rifle is not the greatest idea at all. It has high damage, but it's really slow. Someone needs fire rate and like AoE skills to keep me alive. We'll see how that goes. I do have my AoE single too, which can help me with damage. So overall, we might be okay. Leveling up very early on to be important. Um, shotgun is good. Let's see. Marco Blade's good too. Let's get Marco Blade for now, since two things around that does damage. Okay. Ooh. We are playing Endless Q difficulty 10, the highest difficulty in the game. There we go. We got this though. Oh. I was wondering why my guy wasn't aiming the right way right though. That was round. Okay. Uh, level 3. More well, weapon damage is good. Laser generator. You guys have asked me to use this, so I think we said when the magazine is empty, release three laser nodes to form a laser bras, doing 40 to 60 damage, then we set by laser for 2 seconds. That would be really good. And stop rifle doesn't have too much ammo either, so overall it should come up pretty often. Look at that. Now if we can keep it out longer, that would be very good too. Let's see you. I'll say, I kind of want the area to be bigger. So the faster we can make it bigger, I will definitely do so. The mecha makes one gun away when the primary weapon fails, doing 50 to 65 damage to enemies along the way with a 1 second cooldown. Um, let's do Orbital Strike kill. It does 1 in 40 to 1 to 8 damage. Okay. We got this. Use my act ability though. Well, I can some overall damage right here, looks like. At least we're hitting guys. I'll say the distance on the snap rifle doesn't seem too big though. Um, trap no would be good. When shooting the prime weapon will generate one lightning. That does 60 to 75 damage to random enemy and don't worry. After hitting an enemy, the count would be directed toward another random enemy. Okay. Thank you. Ooh, we're fine. Okay. Nice. Over here. I only have 300 energy. Yeah. Beacon is good too. I increased my primary weapon rate file. Let's do that. Okay. Oh yeah, that's way better. Alright, thank you, Beacon. What's there so many rock guys here? Um, spawn shot's not bad. Damage taken is my 20%. I'm gonna do that to stay alive. I do have glass cannon on, so as soon as I get hit, I'm gonna lose a little health. Actually, it looks like I already lost some health. I have 50 HP left now. Um, vibrating cuddle is good. At least I set up vibrating cuddles whenever you empty a magazine. They play at low speed and damage the enemies within the range up to 50% of your primary weapon damage. I'm gonna do that. Actually, that should be really good because I have a lot of weapon damage from my sniper. So that will be even better for you, eh? Okay. Ooh. What else can we do? Uh, extra arc. Lightning connection plus one for each digital directory. Primary weapon, then the ball counts generate plus one. Uh, okay. Yeah. all of these guys. Seems like I might need some increased damage soon. Uh, probably weapon damage plus 30%. I need that. I really do. 
Dude, my damage don't a lack a little bit on the bigger guys right here. The elites, as you can see. Reach filled. Let's go ahead and get that. Okay, we got it. We're doing fine. Uh, probably weapon damage plus 50%. Very good. I don't know if I'll do drones on this run yet. Drones are really good. I want to focus on AoE stuff. I definitely want to get Shockwave and all that too. The clone from dashing wouldn't be a bad idea either. Oh. Okay. Um. I nice rate. It means within the energy rate, take 5 hits per second, doing 60 to 90 damage each time. The energy rate will make enemies electrocute reducing the limit speed by 50% for 3 seconds. That's gonna be good for endless. Okay, here we go. Let's stay focused, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, Jab Field, here we go. The beacon shoots out count. Continuously doing 60 or 75 damage to remnant and by enemy. After hitting an enemy, the count will be conducted to one other guy. Okay. So a lot of lightning stuff going on. I like the little animation for that. I wouldn't mind some increased energy either. Um. Let's see. Number of Marker Blades on each helmet plus one when the mecha is stationary, the rotation goes up. I'll grab that for now. I only like the plus one blade. Other than that, I don't really plan on staying still right now. Uh, Lightning Conduction plus two. I think about taking Burning Ammo though. Let's do the jumping off for now. Okay. I want to get out of this area. We're level 15 already? Wild. Oh, I'm losing a lot of health though. I had no idea. Um, Release shockwaves over 2 seconds, doing 100 to 125 damage. Um, let's increase max HP. We lose some move speed. Just gotta be safe about that. Because I'm sure boss will be out soon. We need to get this experience and we'll be fine. Okay, I'm looking good though. Well, four minutes in, bosses will be up in about 40 seconds or so. What's this? Um, Melka Blades make enemies vulnerable. Also, I get plus one blade. They take 50% more damage for three seconds. There we go, we got the vulnerable damage. That's really why I took it too. Because the vulnerable damage is going to be solid for me. Kill film. I will go get that. Return and cuddle so they actually return to you. Okay. Oh. That's a yellow experience up right there. Better level up. We're 19 now. Um, blue speed and energy goes up. Um. I mean. Just do lethal cuddle. Uh, makes them vulnerable. They take plus 50% damage. I said I only got something like that. Was that something else that got? Well, okay. Let's get that then. That's why I got the upgrade. Hmm. Oh! The Orbit one. Okay, so the Cuddles have it now. I got it. I was thinking of the wrong one when I upgraded the other one. So now they both have the thing to do that. Sounds good. I just messed up. I did not mean to go back that way. Um, let's get plus one max in onto you. Okay, that was about an overheat right though. And my health is though. Invincibility. I need that. Like, today. Um... Crit chance of prime weapon plus 15%. Let's do that. Okay, we're good. That was a lot of damage. We'll heal if we kill them though. Um, the place we begin each time. Thank you, game. Whoa, hold on. Why? Oh, I'm frozen. I was like, why can't I move? Okay, I forgot about that. The weather mechanic. That was bad. I'll admit that. 
Uh, primary rate of file for my primary open, plus 20%, plus reload speed plus 20, thank you. Um, extra cuddle, release an LSL, fab and cuddles when you finish reloading. Okay. Um, dodge immediately after taking a hit to receive one half fix, restoring HP by 5. Uh, plus 50% fire rate, there we go. Oh, that's still good. Sniper feels better now. Let's get this real quick. When will he sing connect cut? Uh, hold it to shells up and then make a can't move during the shells up in. Really? What does that do? Oh, I see. That's a da little dashing one. Alright, let's form some experience now. I'm about to be level 27. The crit sense of my weapon plus 20%. The last shot does 300% damage. Guaranteed crit. Oh. Sounds good to me. Real blasting, guys. Thank you. Look at that. Oh yeah, this is a fun build. There we go. Man, that lasted like one second when I went away. Hmm. Repel kit. Don't really need that, but thank you. When you get more max HP or damage reduction. Enemy is killed by vibrant kettle generate diffraction. Waves that move at low speed in a random direction for three seconds and deal damage to that for your vibrating kettles. Uh okay. I'd like to see what that does. I think we got it before, but Oh, it's the small ones. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm cool with that. Wow. The whole map is like Yeah, that's cool. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty cool. Number of lasers and rails plus three. Uh, laser will make it. Uh, enemies exceed with some little speed. Okay, so pretty much what we had already, kind of. So a lot of movement speed reduction and vulnerable damage, which is perfect for unless when you're doing it. Just need a little bit more defensive stuff now in case I do get hit. Uh, primary weapon damage plus 40% when the energy tank is full, plus 75% additionally. Very good. There we go. I mean, we're just killing that buddy now. The damage is looking good. Thank you. Um, reload speed plus 30%, magazine capacity minus 50%. I will do that so we can get the laser thing to come out a little bit more often. There we go. And it's lasting longer too. Look at that. It's just constantly out now. That's perfect. Um, anti regeneration plus 25%. Hmm. Let's do... Trap no yell. Enemy skill by primary weapon have a 40% stats to create 5 to 8 trap no pieces each dying. 50% of the primary weapon's damage. Gives them more AOE, yo. It's a solid build. Look at that. I don't know any month for now. Going in. There's so many things, and they return to me too. Yo, what is this, man? Okay, that's fun. Power arc. Uh, lightning conduction plus one. When the current deals damage ten, Alex may always lands as a critical crit. Oh, there we go. Uh, precision blade. It's uh, crit sensor equal to the sense of primary weapon, and you get plus one blade on orbit. Perfect. More heads. Um. Orbit strikes will hit twice in the same location. What else can I do? Survivor instinct. Immediately after taking a hit, each dodge gains your health fix until the energy tank is depleted. Perfect. Huh. Let's turn right here for a bit. Get that energy. I'll say, this is a pretty sick build. I use my right there. Ooh, okay. Need my boost deal to not get frozen, so I'm gonna lose some energy and damage. If 
recovered and kills, doing all that extra damage from having a higher primary weapon damage makes AoE easy. I didn't think the build would be this good after I got going. Thank you. Um, second orbit, and even larger orbit around me. Perfect. I might increase the fire rate in magazine, but to be fair, it should only go back up to full where we were at before. So, but we even have more fire space, it wouldn't matter. Um, after the current is ejected, the damage of the current will be plus 40% every one time it is connected. Okay. Amplified arc. Huh. I dashed them together right though, I got hit. Let's get all this expense. Um, uh, up and rate file plus 50% magazine capacity plus 100. Yeah, back up to full boards, that's okay. Uh, two Gatling drones. I mean, my prayer up and damage for them would be good, to be fair. Like, it's really a good idea for this build. Laser general damage plus 50% when the laser deals damage to get full by me, it's going to hit critical hit. Okay, that's wild. Okay. All my things like really go well together for synergy. We got this. Liking the beacons too for build. I'm gonna go get some of those. Thank you. Oh, I'd like to get experience without worrying about a hit. Um, when the power weapon does not find the next bolt will deal 6% damage every 0 0.5 seconds up to 300%. That's not gonna last long. My reload speed's very quick. I'll get the upgrade though. Oh, took another hit. Uh, reload speed plus 25%, the magazine will be reloaded automatically when dodging. Okay. Look at that. Mother ship cannon back down. Um, picket man's plus 50%. Want to get the extra damage and all that for having picked up expanse. Uh, but yeah, increase damage to make it by 20% when pick up an expanse hill. Even more damage up on now. Oh, I just deleted a boss right though. Each bullet penetrates plus one enemy, as if I really need that, but I'm gonna grab it so it gets popping up. Uh, orbit strikes will be called down on likely two times every three seconds. Uh, connect kite can be activated with only 50 energy. Even better. So I get that 30% damage when using my skill. And then, when I have max energy, I get that 75% additionally. Uh, shooting while stationary could sound plus 40% for weapon. I mean, so I'm just very safe. Is that what's happening now? Have we achieved god mode? Oh, hold on, someone's casting stuff on me. Didn't like that. I'd say I'm putting things under me, well, okay. I need to get more experience here, though. I could wait for a thing, too. Hmm. I mean, really, we don't need to move that much. If we get Shockwave on top of this, we should be good. Shockwave and maybe Drowns? Don't really need Drowns. Invincibility? Okay. Um... Each laser generator shoots out two lasers. There we go. The expanse was looking good too, to be fair. There's a lot of guys spawning. Keeping an eye for under my calc though. Yeah, I knew they would do that. They're spawning in very quickly. They almost had me though. Oh good. Thing within my three beacons. That was close. Um, call one orbit strike on the mecha's location upon dodging. So, all this experience about to come to me. Okay, each bullet penetrates plus two. Um, let's do resulting rate. Each energy rate continuously charges the energy slot at forty, at a rate of forty points per second. 
old wave. Um, ten percent more expense from each spell. Thank you. Probably should have got that before the pickup thing. But to be fair, a lot of the expense we just got then. I don't want to get frozen yet. Overheating. Ah, I made a mistake, guys. Now I'm stuck. Oh great. Oh, I almost died. Ah, that was bad. That was really bad. I almost got one shot though. Um, laser generation duration plus save five percent. Thank you. We can't get hit, yo. We'll die. Like. They did a lot of damage though. I really wasn't expecting to take that much damage. The fact that like one hit did that much is kind of wild. I need some more health and protection if that's the case. Okay. We're doing fine though. Um. I need health. I want health. Let's see, yeah. Penetrating shrapnel's not bad. What's well, some health, that man? Active armor. When the magazine is loaded, the crit chance of power up and is increased by 25% for lasting for two seconds. I'll do that for now. But not what I need. Um, max HP plus 20, MC consumption goes up down, there we go, that's what I needed. Okay. And then eventually we get that more damage reduction at the end though. We need two more upgrades for that though. They just do way too much damage when being hit. Alright. Um, I need to be a little bit more aggressive with getting experience if we really want to go for you. Mothership cannon. Okay. We're fine. Keep an eye out. Almost level 55. Uh, let's go grab this real quick. I was saying my move speed is really slow with the auto file and all that. wonder about that. Yeah, just uh, yeah. I think it's just my move speed. Invincibility. Thank you, game. Let's go grab some expansion here then. Level fifty-five. Um. Let's see. Active almost not bad. Don't get me wrong. Critical damage to fire weapon plus one hundred percent. 5% of max HP will be regenerated each time the mecha levels up. Yeah, thank you, let's go. Don't get me wrong, the primary weapon damage one is really good. Like, really good. Because I'm always critting. If I can get held up and stay though, I'll feel a lot safer when it comes to bosses. The boss are dead. I actually delayed them. I'm not gonna lie. Enemies hit by connect can't have a 50% chance of blocking a bolt of lightning. Ooh. There we go. Gatling drones. Do I want to do it? It's more damage to be fell. Um. Let's do active armor for now. Okay. To be fair, I do think uh, Gatling Drones are one of the best things in the game. Let's not mistake that. I need more AoE. Alright. They're actually getting a lot closer now. Huh. Freeze failed, thank you. Let's slip up, yeah. My beacons went away. 
Um, pen train shrapnel, the chance of creating shrapnel PCs has increased to 60%. The number of enemies uh, penetrated is equal to the amount of penetrations by firing weapon. That's wild. That's just gonna kill everything. Okay, then. I think I'm good here for now. Cold wave. I hate cold waves. Alright. Invincibility. Good time to get that. Oh. So many guys out. There we go. Yeah, that skill is actually really good. Okay. I mean, it is just shutting guys down. Um, critical damage of prime weapon plus 100%. There we go. A range projectile still got off though. Feels so. Probably level 59, over halfway though. The amount of damage numbers coming up. Beacons are out, okay. I wanna take a drink real quick. They had to do that when I was taking a drink, really? I hate that ground thing that spawns under you, man. I really do, I hate that. That and projectiles, man, the two things I hate. I'm really bad with them. Oh yeah. Oh, so many big guys coming out. The massive elites are really a problem. No. Um. Hate spell penetrate plus two. So. I want to grab that so it goes away. Kind of wish there was a banish effect on the game. But I'm like, overall, I get why it's in, though, you know. If I didn't have the sniper penetration and that one ship in the main menu, I would need the penetration a lot. Oh, I almost dodged uh, right back into that. I can't see under me with that. We're going like Super Saiyan mode. What is this? Literally Super Saiyan. Oh, bosses are out. Uh, oh. Okay. I got hit by something though. One's almost dead. Making a few mistakes here. Um, I might do Gatling drones. Because as soon as I get the primary weapon damage one. Hold on. This guy's actually killing me. There we go. Gotta okay, hold back up. Uh, Gatling drones, Red Fowl, Wall, Stacey Plus 100%. I've still got the crossfire upgrade, I don't. Can I cut no longer blast fold? It comes with red rains. Fine with me. More AOE, right? I got hit by something, though. There we go. All the damage numbers. Let's go. Thank you. Shout out to the subscriber, by the way, for telling me to actually give this another try on Endless, man. Appreciate the support. Also, you're definitely right. These numbers, numbers are crazy. They can't even walk inside my field right here. Look at this. Yo. Uh, cold wave. Um, chain trap note. Trap not causes 75% of the prime weapon's damage it creates. Pieces when it's vulnerable enemies. Oh! Which, I mean, guys are always vulnerable when they come into my area. I have an issue with the freeze field right now. I got hit, though. Okay, we're fine. I should go away in a second. Thank you. We have over 22,000 kills to fall. I got hit? Huh. Okay. I 
There's so much going on now. There we go. I'm trying to think what else I need. Bone ammo would be really good. Like the explosive aspect of bone ammo. When I get the final upgrade. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. But the thing is, I'm only level 62, right? And it's only about 20 minutes into the run. Usually it ends around 17 minutes. So we're already into like the NS little phase. Which is why they're a little bit tanky as you can tell. Okay. Wow. Nope. There we go. I lost some health right though. Uh get some extra damage here. Yeah. Ooh, that's a problem. I will say we need more AoE. Oh just more damage. I'm not sure. Like something is going on here while well, still getting hits off. I moved out of the way of that. I'm about to die. I am... it's a little bit laggy. I'll say that too. Number of Gatling Trunks plus 2 and 1% increase in power up and damage. You get 1% damage full amp. Thank you. I mean, yeah, it's... Hold on. I saw that. They are constantly putting stuff under me now. And for a stationary build, I'm having issues with that. Okay. Seems like there's a delay of them showing that they're dead. That's... Uh, yeah, I'm taking a lot of hits, yeah. Yeah, like, the reaction thing is a little bit slow. Like, the game itself. There we go. I'm about to die, though. And we're doing a cold wave. It's not good. It's actually could be the end of us right here. Yeah, I'm about to... Okay, we used to revive. The game is acting up. I don't... I'm... Oh, I'm frozen. Of course. Yeah, we died. Okay. Well... I mean, we beat the main phase. But we got only like four minutes into the endless. I'll say it's really good. But it starts lagging, man. Like, my... It was just so slow. I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe it's too powerful. <laughs> like, I don't, like, I really enjoy the build. Like, it's really good. But, like, it seems like there was a delay at times. Like, it did not feel right. Maybe too many animations with the chain proxy, I'm saying. That build was really fun to play, though. But, oh my lord. I mean, at least we beat, like, the full support, right? And then we get to 22 minutes, which usually ends around 17, as I mentioned. I mean, almost to 29,000 kills. Not bad. We got really high level too, I'll say. I'm surprised about the level we got so quickly. That was solid. Overall, I'm happy with it. Glad I gave it another try. I'll definitely be using that skill more often, as long as it's not laggy though. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed today's run. I definitely did. If you did, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to see future videos come out soon. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. I do appreciate it. Have a great day and stay safe out there. Games full mount.